For Yannick, after that runner-up finish in Miami, I think the tennis world was excited to see what you could do on the clay swing. Looking back over the last month or so, how satisfied have you been with your own performances? Well, you know, it's, uh, I think one week was good, one week was bad. I mean, bad, no, but, uh, you know, I still had to go, you know, a little bit used to the clay, uh, especially in the beginning. Um, I think, you know, I've had the chance to face uh, one of the best players in the world, uh, Novak in Monte Carlo, Rome, and uh, Paris against Rafa. Um, so you know, I think it's uh, it has been. Uh, in one way, I wanted to uh, go a little bit further in some tournaments. In the other way, um, I'm quite satisfied. You know, uh, I I think I've put in some some great experience. You know, which can help me a lot to grow and. You know, obviously, you know, uh, I wanted now to continue on clay, to be honest. But now I'm, I'm right here. I'm already focused about about the grass season, and hopefully, I can play well here. Yeah, of course. With Roland Garros pushed back that that week, and there being no grass tournaments for two years, how tough will the next few days be for, for some players to make this switch from? From, from clay to grass, even more so maybe than normal years? Well, obviously, you know, it's not easy uh, to make this kind of change. Um, first of all, there's not so much time to do that. In the other way, it's uh, going to be very interesting uh, uh, to see how players and people are going to uh, used to the conditions. Um, that what I think uh, from my side. I didn't play juniors. Um, I played only three tournaments in total. I think uh, 15 days on on grass, so uh, it's not so much ex uh, experience from my side. But uh, I'm very looking forward to to see what I can do on grass, uh, trying to understand how how I can play. And uh, yeah, as I said, I'm very looking forward to uh, to see what's uh, what's happening tomorrow already. Yeah, as you say, not so much experience on this surface, but from what you have seen in your, your early years, what are the main differences of, of switching from clay or the hard courts and, and onto grass? What are the main differences on this surface? Well, you know, uh, I think you have to understand how to use your shots, especially on this kind of uh, surface. You know, sometimes the grass uh, is doing uh, the job by, by his own, um, trying to play uh, simple shots, um, trying, first of all, trying to understand how to move, which is completely different than other surfaces. And uh, yeah, uh, at the moment I'm not an expert of grass, maybe ask other players and, <laughs> and, uh, and then we'll see what's happening. I mean, the serve's so important I in any surface, but here even more so, and, and it changed things tactically, maybe more approach to the net. I mean, tactically it feels completely different. Yes, obviously, you know, trying to use the serve in the best possible way, uh, which can help you a lot. And, uh, you know, trying sometimes to go to the net, trying to uh, mix things up, uh, especially you know on this kind of kind of court and surface. And uh, you know, uh, this is what I'm working for. Trying sometimes to approach, trying to go to the net. Um, you know, I think the, with this court it's a little bit easier uh, in one way. In the other way, it's uh, it's not that easy going to the net because you know the stability what you have on your feet is completely different than, than other surfaces so it's going to be very interesting. It's your first time playing here at the Queen's Club, what are your first impressions of this historic venue? Well first of all you know it's a huge venue, uh, super courts I have to say, uh, you know look it's looking great, uh, I mean perfect and uh, I'm very looking forward to play here and uh, I'm very happy you know to be here part of this uh, of this tournament and uh, yeah I, I think you know it, the practice courts are perfect you know center court is uh, it's looking great so yeah uh, let's see what's uh, what's going to to be in the next couple of uh, couple of days yeah there is a little football tournament going on at the moment as well Italy of course did well the other night with their 3-0 victory uh, I mean how do you rate their chances this year and, and how much chat has there been in the locker room between the European players has there been some banter with all the English guys and the Italians and Spanish maybe well you know a lot of chat I, I would not say I would not say so uh, so many things but um, it's going to be very interesting I think you know Italy you know uh, starting pretty well you know, at 3-0 and, uh, you know, watching some other football matches in the evening, I think that's great, you know, it's a little bit more uh, 
it's I, I would say more important, you know, to see this kind of matches now. So uh, yeah, I think I wish uh, I wish uh, Italy best of luck, and hopefully we can we can show some good football this year.